the following contest is a special attraction match. Introducing first at this time, weighing in tonight at 285 pounds from the seventh circle of the team, the master of the luchadors, the mighty Luchador Killer, listen to the ovation for Seraphis. My seat is really warm. Mr. Grimm is a big man, and this seat is really hot now. I'm sure he did a great job, but speaking of big man, we got some big men on the bill tonight. Rhino taking on Seraphis. I feel like, did I just like spoil it? I'm supposed to make a big deal when he comes out, and I've already said Rhino. Here's Seraphis, the people love Seraphis here at the Man Lucha. Try, gonna try and put Rhino through a freaking door, wearing his door shirt. I don't know, that's a big task. Seraphis comes out with the doors to let the people know what they're in for. Chatting it up, Kensington. What Kensington trying to say? Don't get kicked this door. Let me get it out of the ring. A night of extreme here at the Man Lucha, and only one of the ECW alumni legends that we're going to see here, the War Machine, the Man Beast Rhino. I have called Rhino matches before, but never for the Man Lucha debuting here at the Man Lucha. This is like one of those beast versus beast battles, one of these dream battles we've been cooking up with those late night session touch Henrys. The big bull against the rhino. Jesus Christ, look at the ovation for the man beast. Official bell, here we go. We're not wasting any time. There we go. A gore chant starting, and it's not going to take long until it infects the entire crowd. The gore versus there, the gore. door. It's, is it gore or is it door? The gore versus the door right here. Downtown Toronto, Parkdale how, Hall. How did we not promote this batch as Gore versus Door until right now? You never asked me. Yeah, yeah. You should be. You should have my job. Man Beast Rhino. Incredible. That's the, microphone. the fans, a lot of anticipation here, looking for a mic. Like everybody's scurrying to give Rhino a mic. We're not ready, though. Rhino's ready. I don't think they heard you say that Rhino's ready. Oh, yeah. You're, uh, you got to turn the mic on. There's a switch on the mic. There's a switch on the mic. How long? This guy's a veteran. This guy's supposed to be a veteran. You don't know sometimes there's switches on mics in indie shows? Your or your chin door. Well, I got one for you. This sick son of a bitch wants to bring a door out here. You're not going to put my ass through a door because I'm going to gore you through the door. Yeah, oh, see, Rhino knows gore versus door. That's why he's a veteran. He doesn't know about switches, but he knows how to brand shit. There we go, collar and elbow official. Uh, into the far corner. 
There's a lot of man, a lot of beast in there. Seraphis returning in that new form here. The original. Yeah, these guys, first time matchup here. There's a lot of first time matchups here tonight. I feel like they, they fought in like the neither world. Our main event still yet to come. Alex Shelley challenging for that premier championship. That's a first time matchup against Jack Hartwell. Oh man, a hell of a show here tonight. Big face off here, the man beast. It's hot as hell here in the Parkdale Hall. There we go, clap, clap. Head of steam for the bearded bull. No, oh, come on. Was that a low blow even? Rhino's got a lot of girth, you gotta go deep. So I think that was just a gut shot. Ah, shoulder block. The bearded bull taken down by the man beast. Big chop in the corner. Rhino unloading here on Seraphis. Bonafide legends worked everywhere, all over the world. Rhino, story, oh. legendary career. But a lot of his earliest matches were right here in Ontario. Almost like a homecoming here for Rhino. For sure, I have some very, very old tapes of some early Rhino Richards matches here from the indie scene from way back in the day. And I showed him a little clip here before the show and he was like, he actually said, who's that? And then he suddenly realized it was him. It was really a fun little interaction here. Speaking of a fun little interaction, in the crowd, the Man Beast taking Seraphis out. Dude, I don't think Seraphis hasn't been dominated like this since, since Alley Catch. No. Pretty much Seraphis kicks everybody's ass, but Alley Catch and Rhino kind of uh, uh, channeling the same vibe here, taking Seraphis into the audience and kicking his ass. Chair to the back now of the mighty Seraphis, Rhino. Ali Catch did the same shit. She took him to the door, beat his ass with a chair, and kicked his ass for like the whole freaking match. Rhino loves to inflict that punishment. Now at the garbage can. The cyclical universe garbage can. Here we go, baby. From the war machine, over the head of Seraphis. Sending the bull to the floor. And it hasn't been an easy road to return here for Seraphis at the man Lucha. He's faced off against some of the toughest competitors, Hutch Henry, wow, that you can line him up against. The pandemic almost completely derailed Seraphis in every single way. They had a huge concussion, broken hand. Uh, 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 usurpers and doppelgangers trying to take his crown and then returning here as this hard, grizzled version of himself. And he has been dominating just like he used to, just like he always does. And Rhino now feeling that domination here in the crowd. It is extreme here tonight. It's the Lucha Block Party every year. This year, it's the extreme block party. Absolutely, and we're gonna see hey. the insane luchador. While well, things are getting a little insane right now, Rhino smashing Seraphis to all four corners here of Parkdale Hall. Dude, because of Jody threat and her obsession with beer and all these guys, dude, we have mats around the ring now just because of all the beer that gets spilled yeah, at these shows. Slip and break her next. Another chair here from the wow. Mad Beast Rhino. Certainly enjoying himself. The chairs are a hot commodity here tonight. Rhino's a lucky man. In his return to Toronto, Rhino having a little fun here. Like, I, I just, look, I just, is he fighting with a fan for a chair? It'd be tough to get one. From, like, there's no chairs left. This place is packed and sold out. What's going on? Paper cut between the fingers. Son of a bitch. That's veteran styles, inflicting the most pain with the least amount of effort while also gaining the best reaction. Triple whammy, he's a triple threat. He's like Shirley Temple, only he gores people. Wow, spin and a miss there. Wow, right up to the side of the ring. The ring apron is one of the more robust areas of the ring, Chris, as is known in popular vernacular, if you're a wrestling fan. Wow, more beer. Dude, Canadian inflation is insane. Those are not cheap beers. We could use a few extra beers up here. It's pretty hot here at Parkdale Hall and Rhino. We, Jeez. we call that alcohol abuse, wasting it. <laughs> Seriously, and it is scorching in here. A lot of kids in the audience tonight. 
ECW bringing out the kids. We often have kids. There's more kids than I've seen in a while. ECW, kids love blood. It's for the children. Yes. Kids love nostalgia and blood and barbed wire. It's a well known fact. Who doesn't love Rhino? Yeah, my eight year old loves shit from the 90s. Jesus, Seraphis beating down Rhino. Smart, a lot of uh, nagging old school injuries here. Rhino already grabbing his shoulder. That's why he went so hard and heavy at Seraphis from the beginning. He's got to take advantage right away, try and get the quick win. Seraphis much younger, probably got better stamina. Rhino gonna have to use the smarts. That's why he grabbed the paper, the paper cut. He's gonna use his smarts. But Seraphis might have the advantage if he just keeps the pressure up like this. My God, Chris. Breaking down into a complete slugfest. Not that it wasn't from the beginning, but Seraphis now. Here we go. Seraphis has changed in a lot of ways, but we still get the old school Vader ball. Oh. I was gonna say for a moment, having things going his way, but Rhino wisely rolling out of the way there. Big clothesline. That was hilarious. The conditioning. Big elbow as well. Conditioning. You just the conditioning. Who's no, I was going to say the conditioning and the veteranship of Rhino. Okay. Still sharp as ever, Hutch Henry. I mean, Seraph is a, is a veteran in his own right. I tell you, but I don't know if conditioning is the first word I'd use. Vicious double cross shot to the throat. Oh, and a gore! A gore! This might be it right here. <laughs> Near fall. It's not enough, Chris. Well, Rhino vowed to put him through that door, Hutch Henry's. We haven't seen that yet. Gore through the door here. Where did that door go? It was like leaning up on the... Okay, it's still there. It's just sideways now. Dude, the door is cocked and ready. You don't think that Rhino's got great conditioning and great shape? Look at the man. He is. And I got to say cocked and ready. This is a hell of a show. This show absolutely stacks. See? I told you they can hear us. I swear to fuck. Every demand lucha show absolutely stacked. They just keep getting bigger and bigger, Hush Henry's. See, that's veteran instinct as well. Putting the door over the top rope, you can't fuck up that way. You know how many times we've seen a guy fuck up just trying to get a chair or a door in the ring? Rhino, Rhino knows his shit. Rhino ready to end things right here. If he's gonna prop that door, and if he can gore him through it, that'll be it. Oh. Uh, for the former world's champion, Rhino. Wrestle Talk has jammed that jam. We've got gore that door. Oh, oh low, low. Give me a break, Surface. If it, it, I mean, what a surprise that Surface is a dirty son of a bitch. Technically, things legal here, extreme rules. Oh, Rhino reversing the gore. It's a spear when he does it. That door's still propped up there. You know, Rhino will tell you nobody's ever kicked out of a gore. If they did, it was a spear. Rhino is primed and ready right now, Hutch Henry's. Gore right here. Oh, wow. Seraph is getting some of his own medicine. And that door absolutely exploding here. Oh, it's a homer. He is the winner. The man is Rhino. Holy shit. Wow. I didn't think that was enough to take out Seraphis, but that's the difference between a spear and a gore. Seraphis taken out with the gore through the door. I am blown away. That's all it took to put away the bearded bull and the man be standing tall. Okay, wait, now he's standing tall. He was kneeling tall before. Now he's standing tall. Now he's pulling a macho man. Come on. Yeah, baby, point at the crowd. Rhino in the house with a huge victory over the extremely impressive win-loss record of Seraphis. I think maybe only his second or third loss in company history. But Rhino created a wave. We got a wave in Toronto with the Demand Lucha crowd. Please come to a Demand Lucha show, it is so different. All the wrestlers tell me it is so different. Come and join. What the fuck? I know Kenton did. What the fuck is this? Yeah, baby. Ah, I love wrestling. There we go. 
show a sign of respect at Seraphis for the legend. Wow, totally winded. That gore has taken out the bearded ball.